Hello you lovely people, it's Nick again uh, with a what will hopefully be quite a quick video. Um, I went out to a few charity shops last week and had a few interesting finds so I thought I'd do a quick video and share them. I've got a couple of really lovely board games. As you probably know I love my board games, uh, I've been buying and selling them for years and it's just so nice to find vintage stuff in excellent condition. So yeah, perhaps I'll start with those. Um, I picked up these two, which are the Siege and Kingmaker. Now this Kingmaker, on the label, I don't know if you're gonna be able to read it, but it said complete and then there it says unused. Now it was all taped up in the shop, so I didn't open it up and have a look because it said unused. So I was expecting everything to be sealed, which it wasn't, and it's certainly not unused. I don't know why charity shops do this. They, why write that on if it's clearly not the case? Because when you go into it, um, I've bagged these, they weren't bagged like this. But this strip, you can see where some of these tokens have all been taken off. These aren't on the original cards. These uh, square ones would have been in sheets ready to take apart. So it's clearly been played. So why they decided to describe it as unused is beyond me. But anyway, it's not the end of the world because it's still a valuable game, this one. Um, annoyingly, it's got a great big book of instructions. It's a co quite a complex strategy game, and I can't seem to find anywhere in here a contents list. Uh, I've tried Googling it, I've tried looking at various board game websites, and I can't find a definitive contents list. But from what I can kind of work out from reading the rules, it looks like it's complete, um, from what I can tell. Um, I've looked at completeds on these, and this looks like looks to be the first edition of this game from 1974. I think it was 74. So it's nearly as old as me. I can't find it now, but there was a date. Oh yeah, right on the front there. So 1974, and it is in gorgeous condition when you consider how old it is. So yeah, you may have seen on that original label that I showed you I paid up a little bit, £6.50. Um, I looked it up while I was there on my phone on eBay and completed ones that were complete in excellent condition were reaching £50. I think the, the most I saw one completed for recently was £60. So I'm going to just shoot top end. Um, I'll probably put it on at £60, see how it goes. I'll happily wait. Uh, and if I have to come down to 50, it's really not a problem. But I was so pleased to find that. Such a lovely thing. It's not a game I've ever played, but it's the sort of game I would play. Just looking at the back, it's a bit of a shame it's quite bashed. So I'll have to declare that, obviously, in the listing. So that was that one. And then this Besiege is also a lovely thing. This is complete. Um, I think there was a breakdown of the components on this one um, and again in lovely condition but I couldn't find any of these on eBay I couldn't find any completed ones um, couldn't find much information at all on Google or anywhere about this so I don't know where I'm gonna go price wise but it's a lovely thing again a strategy game uh, about besieging castles uh, paid three pound fifty on this and I, I don't know where I'm going to go price-wise, uh, very little information to go on. But I will probably start high and if I have to come down, I'll happily do so. But yeah, again, just so pleased to find that lovely vintage game. Just don't see this sort of stuff very often, especially in this sort of condition. So that kind of made my day. Um, same day as well, I found these. And this is Star Wars Episode 1 Micro Machines. Now this... Um, it looks like that. It's a, a droid head and then it all opens out and you've got loads of figures in it, etc. Now these were marked up at 2 99 in the shop and they were taped. Uh, I said to the lady, could I have a look inside? Because to be honest with these, if they don't have the figures in, they're almost not worth 
bothering with. It's the figures that count with these because they're the bits that get lost and the collectors really want those. So she said, yeah, and we, we broke the seals and I opened it up. And I was quite pleased with what I found because if I can get in here now, can't get in it. There we go. It is brand new inside. Everything is still sealed. It's still tied in with its original ties. The figures are all tucked inside. Well, there's one of the ships. Oops. Still in there. The figures are in little bags tucked inside. Still got its decal sheet all untouched and its instructions pristine. So yeah, that was a nice find. And the other one is exactly the same. This one is another Star Wars episode one. Again, micro machines, and it's the same story with this. I asked, could I have a look? And it's, it's the same story. Everything is still bagged and sealed. You can see these little bags have the figures, etc. All still factory sealed. So that was a good find. They're not mega money, they're not huge, but in that condition, I will find them pretty easy to sell. They are listed on Amazon, but they, they don't seem to have any sales history on Amazon. Uh, whereas on eBay, I looked at them and, and they sell consistently on eBay. So I'm gonna put these on eBay. I don't know whether I'm gonna do it now. I might wait till Christmas and pitch them high. Um, I'm probably gonna look at, I don't know, somewhere between 20 and 30. I don't know, I'm thinking now I'll put these away for the Christmas market and then judge prices nearer the time. But again, I was just chuffed to find those in a charity shop. Star Wars, um, vin well, not proper vintage, but retro stuff. Yeah, you just don't see it, especially new and sealed inside. So there was those. I picked up various other odds and sods, um, but the only other thing I'm gonna show you were these. Now I. I I put together a complete set of these Lemony Snickets not that long ago and sold the set for, oh God, I can't remember now. I think it might have been 30, somewhere about that price anyway. Um, so I keep my eyes peeled for these. And in one charity shop we went in, they were having a bit of a deal on books and they'd marked, they had a, a shelf where everything had been marked down to 20p and they had quite a few of these. As you can see, they were asking 75, um, but these have been put in this offer for 20 pence a book. So I grabbed pretty much all that they had. I left a few that weren't in as good condition, but picked up all of those. Now it's not a complete run and there's a few duplicates in there, but I'm well on the way to getting a set out of it. There's 13 books in this set. Um, and I think I've got almost one complete set and then a few duplicates. So at 20p each, yeah, I was all over that. They are in lovely condition. A few have um, names written in the little this book belongs to panel, uh, but I'll just declare that in the listing. A few of the ones when I listed them last time had names written in and it didn't seem to you know, be a problem. They sold really quick anyway. So yeah, I was pleased to find that. Um, we found uh, loads of clothing as well. Andrea came with me and uh, she picked up a load of clothing for the shop because we're changing how we're doing it in the shop. All of our stock was coming over the counter. We were trading it in, um, but we were finding we weren't getting the stock that we particularly needed. We were getting tons and tons of baby stuff and people were bringing that in, which we've already got far too much of. And then they were taking the older kids stuff which we need and we're running out of. So for the time being, we've stopped trading in and we're sourcing our clothing ourselves. Um, so we can be much more selective and buy the stuff that we know we need and sells really quickly in the shop. So yeah, Andrew got loads of really good quality clothing while we were out in the charity shops as well, which was cool. Oh, there was one more thing I was gonna show you, was a Nerf gun. Where did I put it? All right, hold on a sec. Yeah, I picked up a Nerf gun. Don't see much Nerf stuff in charity shops. Uh, came across this beastie and he was priced up very reasonably at three pounds 
50. And this is one of the uh, disc ones. If I just take this magazine out, it fires these discs. Uh, it's got a full clip. Um, now, it's, they said it was untested. It's one that takes batteries, so it's a bit of a gamble whether it works or not, although I could take it back if it doesn't. But I figured that I could sell that clip with the discs for good profit from my £3.50, so it's a kind of no-brainer, really. And then if this works, I don't know the going rate for this, but this will be 20 quid plus, I would have thought. So, yeah. Like I say, I rarely see Nerf stuff in... Um, charity shops I tend to find a lot of it at car boot sales so that was a nice find fingers crossed that when I test it it's actually working anyway just a quick one for you hope you enjoyed that please give it a thumbs up and I'll speak to you guys soon bye for now